Hey everyone, Dorothy of the Neon Tea Party here. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to add a clasp closure to your beaded jewelry. Now what we mean by clasp closure are these lobster hooks right here. You often see these on bracelets, anklets, necklaces, anything that has a non-stretch string essentially. So what you're going to need to add that clasp closure are scissors, flat nose pliers, and then everything else we're going to be using today does actually come in our starter and deluxe beading kits. So if you're just getting started with beading or you are a big time bead collector and you just want to expand your collection, again, this is just a great way to play, start because it has everything you need. So we're also going to be using a beading needle and non-stretch string, beads, of course, and then these jewelry findings here, and I'll talk through the specific ones. So the findings we're going to be using are the lobster clasp, of course, jump rings, you're gonna need at least two of those, crimp beads, again, you're gonna need at least two of those, and then crimp bead covers, which looks like this little letter C, you'll need at least two of those. Now, I really like starting by planning out my design using a bead board. Um, bead boards are great because A, they keep all your supplies in one place without rolling away, which is 10 out of 10 experience, but also it allows me to plan out my design and make sure that I have enough beads for whatever I have in mind. So the first thing that we're going to do is use that beading needle and we're going to add the lobster class. So first, measure out, let me flip side so you guys can see. First, measure out your string. So you want it to be as long as the length of whatever you're making, and then add six inches. So if you're making an anklet, measure your ankle, add six inches, et cetera, et cetera. We want those extra six inches to account for the string we need to add the clasp. So you're gonna thread your beading needle, which if you're familiar with the sewing needle, it's a little bit different, just has a larger gap, AKA easier to string. So you're gonna thread your beading needle with that non-stretch string you just measured. And then we're going to add a crimp bead. And then we're also going to add our lobster clasp. So you should have crimp bead followed by lobster clasp. Then you, what you're actually gonna do is bring your needle back down through that crimp bead. So I take this, take my needle, and go back down through my crimp bead, and that will create, you'll have a loop with your lobster clasp and then both strings, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And it should look something like that. Then we're gonna take our flat nose pliers and flatten or crimp that crimp bead. So I'm gonna grab it with my pliers, I'm gonna pull up toward my clasp and then flatten. To make sure that that's taut, go ahead and pull on the longer end of your string and the string should move. If the string moves at all, go ahead and re-crimp that one more time. Then we're going to take one of our crimp beads, which if you recall is one of these guys. I'm gonna take that with my pliers, bring that opening around that crimp bead and crimp that close. You're gonna go essentially from a letter C to a letter O when you close it. And you've just added your clasp. Ta -da! Now go ahead and add your beads until you reach your desired length. All right, that's the last of the beads and that's as long as I'm making this one. So what are we gonna do now is add our jump ring to the end. 
So the way you add your jump ring to the end is very similar to how we added the clasp at the start. So we're going to start by adding one of those tiny crimp beads, just look like that, and then a jump ring. Now, if, like me, your jump rings come open, we're gonna go ahead and close that first. Now, when you close it, you wanna close it by pinching it closed, not twisting it closed, oh goodness, so that the ends meet instead of overlap. I'm gonna hold this guy and then I'll try to show you. So see how it's open? I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch it closed. There's gonna be a tiny click. And then you see how that's closed and not overlapping? So that's what we want. So go ahead and add your crimp bead and then add a closed jump ring. And then just like at the start with the lobster clasp, we're going to feed that string back through that crimp bead so that you're essentially creating a loop that the jump ring is on. And then we're going to pull that tight to where our beads are. Don't cut your string yet. All right, so I've got it pulled tight to my beads. And then just like at the start, we're going to crimp or squeeze that crimp bead tight. So I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers to that bead and then pinch my pliers so that that bead is crimped. Pull on the long tail of your string to make sure that it doesn't budge. If it moves at all, go ahead and re-tighten. And then I'm going to grab another one of our crimp bead covers. And this just gives it a finished look. You don't have to do this part, but it really does make all the difference. Go ahead and grab that cover, put the C around that bead and shut it. And so it goes from the letter C to the letter O. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do next is trim my string, but leave a tail because I'm going to use my handy dandy beading needle to thread those tails through the last few beads. So I'm gonna take this, put that tail through my needle. There we go. And what's nice about these beading needles is that they're super flexible so that it's very easy to thread that tail back in. Now, if your tail comes off the needle like mine just did, another trick is to actually put your needle through the beads first. And because this needle has that super large opening, it has that larger opening, go ahead and Put that end, that tail through, and then pull it all the way through. And that'll pull that tail through your beads, and then you can just trim. And that'll hide that tail. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing at the start. So thread your needle. Feed it through those beads, pull that tail through, and then trim, and you have made clasp closure jewelry. This is great for gifts. This is obviously not for me. This is for my daughter. Um, but you can make them as gifts, um, yourself, anything and everything. The sky is the limit. So that is clasp closer jewelry. Make sure you tag us on Instagram, all the social media with at the neon tea party. We cannot wait to see what you make.